Hey, this is Steve with Dabble Lab, and in this tutorial, we are talking about using dynamic entities in a custom Alexa skill. And we're going to be using a template from DabbleLab.com. So if you are not watching this video on Dabble Lab, head over to DabbleLab.com slash templates. And we're going to be using this one here, template number 18, dynamic entities example template. So you want to click on that and you will need to log in to download the template. If you don't have an account, you can create one for free by just clicking this need an account link down here. And then once you are logged in, Coom, once you're logged in, you will have access to a download button here that download the source code and you want to go ahead and click on that and that will download everything that we need to uh, to get this template up and running and before I get into it just uh, let me talk through sort of what dynamic entities are all about because understanding why we would use them is uh, is, is important so what dynamic entities do basically is they uh, they let you update slot values at runtime. And what this does is it avoids you having to resubmit a skill for certification when all you need to do is update some slot values. And without dynamic entities, you would have to go into the interaction model, change slot values, and then resubmit the skill for certification, which could take, you know, um, hours or, uh, or days um, it's gotten a lot faster, so it's it's not so bad anymore. But in this case, you you don't have to submit the skill at all, so the the values will be available right away. You are limited to just using a hundred values with dynamic entities, so it's not the perfect solution for all cases. But let's take um, a, an example use case. Let's imagine that we're building a skill for a coffee shop, and what we want to do is um, provide like a fun way for the the shop to promote customer loyalty and. The idea is that we'll um, have like a, a, a discount game of sorts and the way it'll work is uh, the shop will post a hint that customers can use to guess a secret word and they're going to use an Alexa skill, in this case the one that we're going to be working on here, to guess the word and if the customer guesses correctly, they will get a discount code and Alexa will send the discount code to the companion app. So that's what this skill template does. But the, the real point is that um, it uses dynamic entities. So for this skill or for this use case to work, the, uh, the coffee shop would need to be able to update the secret word and the hint whenever they wanted without having to submit the skill for certification every time. And so that's a case where dynamic entities would be something that you wanted to use. So we downloaded the dynamic entities template right here, and we're now going to um, set up a skill and deploy that. And this works with both the CLI and uh, also the um, uh, hosted skills, Alexa hosted skills. And that's what we're going to be using today. So let's head over to the Alexa developer console. If you're not already, uh, if you don't already have an account, you'll need to get an Amazon developer account. You can get that at developer.amazon.com. And when you log in, you're gonna wanna navigate to what you're seeing right now in this video, and you can get there by just going to the Alexa developer console here. And then from here, you wanna click on create skill, and we're gonna create uh, a skill called um, coffee words and this is a custom skill and we're going to be using the alexa hosted skill for node.js and then we just want to go create and then the next screen is going to prompt us for a template and we're just going to choose this hello world uh, skill template the basic one we're going to be replacing the code that's provided in that template with the code that you uh, are going to get from the template that we just downloaded so we'll let that start up and while, or we'll let this finish up. And while that's happening um, over here in our uh, code, we're gonna need this, let's see this, the uh, the model, which is this uh, en-us.json file. And then we're also gonna need in the, uh, the code here, we're gonna need this file here, the index.js. So as soon as this builds, will upload those two and then I'll go into um, the code and kind of talk about 
what's going on in there and we will um, look at how it's all working. All right, so looks like we're ready to go. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to um, apply the interaction model from the template that we downloaded. So if you go to the JSON editor here and we're on the build tab, so you go to the JSON editor and then there's an option here to drag and drop a JSON file. We can also just upload that. So we wanna to go to the template that we downloaded and we wanna find the models. And then this is what we're looking for, this en-us. Upload that and that's gonna give us our coffee words interaction model. We wanna save that. And uh, we can start the build on this. And while that's building, we'll go over here to our code. And with the code, we're gonna need to copy and paste the code from the template. So if you go to your template, you can open the code in whatever edit, uh, editor you choose. I'm gonna just use um, text edit for right now. And then we just wanna select all the code and then copy it. Oops, that's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted right here. So um, we'll open it again with text edit. Select it all, copy it, and then go back over to the developer console and then just select all of the code that is the boilerplate code for the Hello World template and then just paste over it with the code from the uh, template that you downloaded. And then you wanna save that and deploy it. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go, um, well, uh, let, me, let me show you a couple of things here before we uh, go test it. Um, so first of all, in the interaction model over here, if we take a look at uh, the interaction model, we've got a, um, a, a secret word. So the way that it's gonna work is the skill is gonna prompt the user for the secret word. And we've got a custom slot here called secret word type. And this is the, uh, the basically the, the custom slot type that's gonna contain the words. And the only word that this slot contains by default is the word dabble. So we'll test it first with, uh, with dabble, but dabble won't be one of the options because we're using dynamic entities to replace Dabble. So let me show you that. We'll go, um, we'll go test this and enable testing for development. And then um, we can just say uh, open coffee words. Welcome to coffee words. Guess this week's secret word and get a 20% discount. You can say, my guess is, and then a word. What's your guess? My guess is lion. Lion is not the secret word. Sorry. Okay, so um, that word I know was not one of the uh, the words that was the secret secret word, but now let's try with dabble. And like we just looked at, dabble was referenced in the um, slot type. Open coffee words. Welcome to Coffee Words. Guess this week's secret word and get a 20% discount. You can say, my guess is, and then a word. What's your guess? My guess is dabble. Dabble is not the secret word. Sorry. Okay, so the reason dabble is not the secret word is because it's being replaced by the uh, values here and there's just there's just one value for this example we could make more if you wanted to do that by just going like this and then this and then changing the word out but for this use case we really just need one word because there's one secret word but um in this case here the hint let's imagine that the the coffee shop uh put out there was um a let's see i wrote it down <laughs> it's a uh, a sumatran wild cat that can't digest coffee beans and the answer to that is luwak here and so this is kind of illustrating it so let's try it with uh with that one 
and um, see what happens. Open Coffee Words. Welcome to Coffee Words. Guess this week's secret word and get a 20% discount. You can say, my guess is, and then a word. What's your guess? My guess is Luwak. Congratulations. Luwak is correct. I sent your discount to your Alexa app. Show it anytime this week for a 20% discount. And so that's how it's supposed to work. Um, let's take a look again at the code and I'll show you what's what's going on. So this here in the code, this is just effectively JSON that's being generated. So that it's uh, a, a, a JSON array um, of, uh, of items. And this could be anywhere. This could be something that we pulled out of a database or uh, or these values could be generated from a database or from an API. I just put them right in the code here to, to keep it simple. And if you come down to the secret word handler here, uh, what's going on is um, we're just looking at the uh, slot values uh, and we're getting the um, slot values that are used from the dynamic entity array and then we're checking to see if there's a match and then if there is a match we're um, responding back uh, appropriately and sending out a, uh, a card so let's do one last test and then we can wrap it up and so this last test is without rebuilding the model or anything I'm just gonna change this to uh, dog save it and um, I'm not rebuilding the model, but I do need to deploy the, uh, the, the Lambda function because in this case here, the code is in the Lambda, but we're not rebuilding the interaction model. And that's the point that we're trying to test here. So let's go over here and try it one last time. Open Coffee Words. Welcome to Coffee Words. Guess this week's secret word and get a 20% discount. You can say, my guess is, and then a word. What's your guess? My guess is dog. Congratulations. Dog is correct. I sent your discount to your Alexa app. Show it anytime this week for a 20% discount. Okay, so that is it. This is a, um, a, a straightforward uh, example, but that is using dynamic entities in a custom Alexa skill. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those and I'll respond just as quickly as possible. If you found this video helpful, please like it and or uh, subscribe to the Dabble Lab channel. It's youtube.com slash Dabble Lab. Thanks so much.